survivors of the Kaduna State House of Horror recount tales of torture and crimes against humanity as police rescue over 300 persons, many of them minors from an illegal Islamic school in Rigasa, Kaduna State. The episode, which continues to shock Nigerians, sent shockwaves across the country as many of the victims who were chained for years were only released as the police bust the school following a credible intelligence. Many of the victims rescued in chains recount tales of sodomy, rape and torture. For you to keep someone here, you say him, you keep him with someone that's a drug dealer. You bring someone that's arm robber. I see homosexualists and the geese, all, all these kind of people they're here. If they caught someone with the issue of homosexuality, they will not even do anything to him. But if they caught you that you went to run from this place, they will tell, they will hang you, they will chain you. I decided I became a Christian because I spent 16 years in the UK. I married there. So I got back to Nigeria to come and settle with my family. And uh, the extended family came and told these people that I became a Christian. I've converted, I'm trying to convert my children to Christians and the rest. I just found myself here one night, one morning about two years ago. I went to middle school area. So since that experience, I've not seen anything like this. And this is worse because of the age. I'm diabetic, no drugs. They keep you incommunicado. You can't talk to anybody to bring drugs or medicine for your diabetes. This place is neither a rehab or an Islamic school because you can see it with yourself. Small children, some of them are brought from our neighboring countries, Burkina Faso, Mali, Ghana, and the rest. And the children gathered here are from all over the country, across all over the country. They were here. Some of them were even chained. They were used, dehumanized. You can see it yourself. We'll investigate later. The man, if he's found wanting with his uh, other cahoots or co-conspirators, we'll arrange him in court.